Where did it come from 45? A cross out video by Dangerously Incompetent. Would you look at that? Shock! A new pack! And even greater, cusp! It's got new parts in it. Actual, honest to goodness, new parts. Inconceivable. The Bone Hunter pack. We've got the regular Bone Hunter, we've got the Light Edition, and we've got the Deluxe Edition. Light and Deluxe only in for a month, but surely to return you know, <laughs> in a couple of months. Unless... Unless the Bone Hunter is the new Halloween pack, like the uh, Snowstorm packs, and we're only we're only going to come back you know, next Halloween, which would make these unique parts, new parts, um, much more attractive investment. Hmm. <laughs> which way is going to go? Oh, I wish I knew. Anyway. Let's have a look at the light version. What have we got? Bluish smoke. Well, that's not new and it's not unique to the pack. The Manitou carrying that is new and is unique to the Bone Hunter packs. A light cabin that does good stuff for revolvers. Proves their damage and their reloading time. Provided you leave one in the cylinder. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> Let's see. Corvo's got six in the cylinder, but it gets its perk on the last one in the cylinder. So if you don't shoot it in order to get the... Uh, uh, Athena, that's a revolver, but that's only got four shots. And Emily, that's got six shots. Nothing special there. What other revolvers are there? There's some uh, rocket launchers that are rev have cylinders, but they, they're not labelled as a revolver, so I don't know whether that works with them. Something to look up. And of course the Nagwell, which is the new cannon with the revolver. But it's only got three shots in it. So you're going to sacrifice a third of your firepower, a third of your, your alpha strike, to get a faster reload. Hmm. I'm not sure that's actually going to be beneficial. But anyway, it's a cannon. It's a purple cabin. What's its perk? 20% more damage to weapons, movement parts and hardware. Hmm. Okie dokie. Have to try it out. Then we've got some stuff we can craft. Then we got the brace and the headlight, which come from the decal container. And then the corner railing and the railing. They are not new. They are from the founders season. So there's plenty of them banging around. And there have been other packs and stuff before. So not, not an awful lot, but okay, it is the light version. Oh, any more structural parts? Well, there's some prestige structural parts and <gasps> gas pipe shock horror. More new parts. Ooh, vintage fender. Oh yeah. Well, that's going in some art builds, isn't it? Shame we've got nowhere to show them off. Like race, for instance, would be a great place to show off your your old mobiles. Restore race. That's what I say. So there's a left and a right one of them and nostrils. <laughs> What a marvellous name. Which is a bumper. But you only get one of them. But how, how big is that? Uh, so two by three high. If only you could get more than one of them. Because <laughs> then you could have a complete row. Because that, that looks like it's going to lift something lovely, isn't it? <laughs> if you want to roll someone over. Uh, anyway. Uh, and you can't... It's unique to Bone Hunter pack, you can't get it anywhere else. So you can't get it if you play for free, because there's not tradable, is it? No, it's not tradable. Given past performance, it's gonna turn up on the engineers badge exchange at some point. Probably after the light and deluxe version leave the shop in what, twenty-four days. So that was the light version. What's in the regular version? Well, we get a bit of coin. We get the epitaph paint, which is not new and not expensive. So whoop de doo And not unique to the pack. Plenty of them around. We get the Manitou cabin again, which is unique to the Bone Hunters. And the Nagual, two of them unique to the Bone Hunter packs. Uh, these are all craftable. In a decal container is the braces. 
brace rather and the headlight and corner railing and railing are plentiful on the market and the same structural parts Bone Hunter Deluxe what glorious things do we get some more stickery stuff and avatar -y stuff some coin more coins and a new paint the bone paint which is well stunning <laughs> hmm anyway uh Manitou Cabin, unique to Bone Hunter. Nugal Cannon, unique to Bone Hunters. Then we get some uh, craftable parts. And then, ooh, a new horn. Let's listen to the horn. Uh, ooh, haunting. <laughs> How much is that going for? 900! Oh, come on! Uh, well, it'll be a while before I get that one then. And what's this? Forge Torch. That's not new. That was in the decal pack. As was the gargoyle. I got a pair of gargoyles. The decal pack, they were available for coin for a little while, but now it's cross crowns only in the decal pack. But it's not unique to the Bone Hunters. Uh, chimney Pipe, that was in a season. Plenty of them banging around. Craftable, craftable, digger. That's from one of the tank packs, isn't it? That's not new or unique. And then we got the bedroll, which is in the decal container, brace in the decal container, travel bag in the decal container, and then the corner railing and the railings are from a season. And then the new vintage left, vintage fender left and right, and the nostrils. All, all for their low, low price of 55 Great British Pounds. Another new pack. ABS Hellboy. We are truly living in a golden age. Except not really, because none of the tradable parts in this pack are new. They're all reused from somewhere else. And this does awfully look like a player creation rather than the usual stuff we get in packs. And there was that... Clash of Engineers competition that featured the Cerberus cabin, Kerberus cabin, but it wasn't one of the ones that placed. But it did, I presume, tickle the devs' fancy because it's got two remedies in it, and the remedy is used in the Athena crafting on the mini season so I was expecting a pestilence deluxe pack to put in a reappearance because that's the one with the remedies the, and is it, oh, the one that's constantly in the in the shop and then the deluxe would obviously be the tasty version to sell oh how convenient but anyway it is so convenient it has the remedies in and what else have we got in here? We got a bit of coin, we've got parts. El Dorado paint, that's been around for donkey's years. Ice crystal is in the snowstorm packs. Red crystal is in the snowstorm packs. Spectral flame sticker, been around for ages as well. In the bully bully pack. The one with the favourite. Um Swarm left, swarm right, that's been round before in other packs, twin exhaust in other packs. Kerberos Cabin is in the Arsonist pack that's regularly in the shop. Remedy is in the Pestilence Cabin. Uh, craftable, craftable, craftable. Ooh, Bigfoot Spare. That's been around before. Couldn't tell you where from. Sayonara, that's a pack sticker. That's common enough. Gladiator, that came from a season. Wicked Rhino, don't know where that came from, but it's not tradable, so I don't care. Headlight and round brake light are in the decal container. And then there's a couple of press... No, that's not prestige, is it? That is last season. Not Road to Singularity. The one before that, the cold one. Uh, the Frost and Snow job. And then, yeah, some prestige parts. And a old season part. 
So that's what you get for ABS Hellboy. Some more reappearances in the shop. Adrenaline Deluxe, done it before. Not going to go through it all again because it doesn't look like there's anything different in there to me that I can spot. And Polar Explorer Deluxe Edition. Maybe it's got three days of premium or maybe it's more coin, I don't know. But there's in the tradable parts, yeah, nothing new there. I wonder when these are going. Oh, oh, are they going down? They come down a bit. <laughs> Still haven't got any of those. Maybe I'll wait a bit further. Because it's going to come back again, isn't it? A couple of months' time. Uh, new, nothing new or different to there, really. And then the Catalina Deluxe Edition for its bi-monthly appearance. I'm sure the Delu Catalina Deluxe <laughs> came in already during the... Oh, what's it called? The mini season, Battle Trophies mini season for the uh, for the uh, Athena crafting. So I bought some extras, Catalinas, so I could craft myself some Athenas. But now the price has gone down. Oh, it hasn't gone down much. I bought four four thousand. Maybe I should buy another one. I don't know. But the pack itself, nah, no changes. Oh, and I bought myself some daisies because they're not available anywhere else and they have yet to be used in a crafting recipe so it's only a matter of time I reckon uh, unless they're only going to use weapons and never going to use special modules but some crazy Russian reason who knows customization packs all for seven day or eight days you can get these which are not tradable so they're worthless get corporate style which is not new you can get holograms founders which is not new pack all been before they all come from signs of the founders as well they all come from seasons and then they've been put into the packs and the packs have been around before as well pestilence deluxe is back i thought they weren't going to do this after they did abs hellboy with its two remedies but nope pestilence deluxe has returned with its two remedies <laughs> I wonder what that's doing to the price. Oh, you can't tell because it's got a customization kit on it. Uh, but no new parts, nothing different there, been out before. The Catalina Deluxe is back. It's only been gone, ooh, a whole week, and now it's back. <laughs> the pack sale that never ends. <laughs> uh, nothing new, yep. <laughs> I've even done it this video. It's that. It's coming back that soon. Electric Beetle as well, and Deluxe, is back. After ooh, a couple of weeks of not being in the shop. Amazing. And is this his second return? I've forgotten. I can't get dragged, they just keep going back. So no, never, ever, 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 ever buy another pack at full price. You only have to wait a month or two and the, the Deluxe will be back for half price or something. Well, claimed to be half price, but you know, nothing new in this pack either. I must say, it's jolly nice of the devs to make sure everyone's got enough parts, you know, the Remedy, the Catalina, the Akari, for everyone to make their own Athena. Very considerate. But it's rather put the kibosh on the Athena as an investment if everyone's already got one. Oh, um, I suppose they're still upgrading. Customization stuff in the shop. Eastern Pack has a load of stuff that is not tradable and is therefore useless and it's not new either. Maximus Customization is not new. Perforation Paint is not new, but it is tradable. A point in its favour. Uh, Gargoyle is not tradable, is it? Nope, and it's not new. And customization pack Mac Tub. I'm not sure whether that's new or not, but carbon paint is not new. That's that is in some vehicle packs. Eater of Souls Deluxe Edition is back. Anything new in here? Nope. Black Friday sales. Real packs with real money off. We have the creation, which is uh, not new. Nothing new in the in the parts. Our guest, 50% off, nothing new in the parts. 
polymorph, not a new pack, nothing new in the parts. Guess, guess how, what we're going to be saying about the rest of them. <laughs> no new parts, but 50% off. And famine. And death. And pandemic. One thing this set of sales has done is given us loads and loads of cheap wheels, blue wheels and special wheel, rare wheels and special wheels, because you know twin wheels, loads of chained wheels, loads of armor APC wheels. And it's even made the Acris 4 dip.